Hi everybody, today's recipe we're making kombucha popsicles. It's been great weather here where I'm at in California and I was feeling like a nice healthy snack and so I came up with my kombucha popsicles. We're just using kombucha and some fresh berries. So it's easy to do, it's low in sugar, and it's delicious. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So if you've never heard of kombucha, you've never tried it, don't know anything about it, it's basically a fermented tea, either black or green. So it's a, it's a probiotic drink, and it's supposed to be very healthy for you and aid in digestion. All right, guys, let's go over our ingredients. I'm using kombucha that I bought at the store. I like this brand, it's a GT Synergy, and they just it's just a good quality product. And the sugar content is really low, which is what I like. I like to keep the sugar low. So for example, this bottle has a total of, you know, four grams of sugar for 16 ounces. Now we're gonna be using a lot less than that, probably just an ounce or so in each, you know, each little uh, popsicle. So you're getting very little sugar there. Now, the other thing we're adding is some fresh berries. You can use pretty much any fruit you want, guys, but to keep the sugar levels down, you wanna use berries. Raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, anything like that. And you can use fresh or frozen. Either one works. And we'll use a little bit of lime. We're gonna start this off by pureeing our uh, fruits, our little berries. And I like to do that because that way it gets, it turns into a puree and it gets dispersed throughout your whole popsicle. I like that better. So you need a food processor or you can do this in a blender. So we'll toss in the berries, add a little bit of our lime, cut that up and then just squeeze this in. So we'll just blend this up. All right, that should do it. So now all we have to do is fill our molds. Now we'll need some popsicle molds like these. And I got these at, you know, I got mine at Ikea, and, but you can get them at Target or anywhere you can find them. They're, they're everywhere. So what I like about mine is they're individual, so you can take one out. And what we're going to do is put the pureed strawberry raspberry mixture in first. So I'm going to fill my cup about a third to a half full. I know it's hard to see in there, but once you get it about, yeah, half full or so, I'm gonna add the kombucha, pour that in. Now you don't wanna fill it up because as it freezes, it will expand, and I made that mistake by putting too much in and then it kinda freezes and it's kinda pushed out a little bit. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna stir it a little bit. and then you just put your cap on it, and that one's ready to go in the freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of these and pop them in the freezer. All right, guys, I happen to have a couple of popsicles already made from yesterday, and what I used for these was some mixed berries that were frozen, and they work out great. Okay, so you just give it a little squeeze, and it should pop right out just like that. And if it doesn't, you can run it under some cold water for just a second, squeeze the mold, and it should pop right out. And here they are, guys. They are really delicious. Perfect for a summer day when you want a nice cold treat. These are really delicious, not too sweet. You can definitely taste that nice pureed um, fruit that's been you know, blended up. It's really delicious, guys. I hope you'll try this. It's great for kids. You wanna cut back on their sugar and give them something nice and delicious, give this a try. All right, so let me know, have you ever tried kombucha before? I'm really curious, I wanna know. So leave that in the comments below and let me know if you wanna see more recipes using kombucha. All right, guys, so thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please share it and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that button up there and you'll be notified every week when a new video comes out. All right, guys, thanks again. We'll see you next time.